downside of buying ready to wear is that having bought to fit my fullest part, which is my chest, everything else on this garment is just a bit big, including they think this is my waist, and actually this is the top of my hip, and everything is swinging forward. That's because my boobs are sticking this out, so the lots of foot swung forward, and the side seams are actually not hanging straight, they're all swinging forward too. So the alteration I plan to do first is to remove this belt and I'm going to create a waistline that's much more flattering. So essentially the waistline that I need to create is called a sway back and that just means that I'm going to be shortening all the fullness in this area by taking a kind of big dart through here which actually what I'm going to be doing is cutting my back in half. So I'm actually pinning a whole seam line across here and I'm going to reduce the height between here and here, which will put the waist in line with where I need it to be. So I'm just going to roughly pin this. It's kind of hard pinning on your own, but it is doable. When that's done, can you see how all the extra fullness in here is not really flattering? So I'm going to create a dart in the height, a sway back, and I'm also going to remove some of the fullness in the back of this garment, either by constraining it with very flat pleats or just by taking a few darts in here. So I kind of roughly pin all of this on myself, lay it on my cutting table, pin it with a little bit more finesse. I'm just taking that in there and then come back and refit my garment. So the other thing with this dress is that I'm getting drag lines here and that's just to do with the shape of my bust. So if I put some darts, and these are called French darts, and they're gonna go from here into my side seam. And they've got a little bit of a curve on them and what they do is they give you a really nice waist silhouette. So I'm reducing the back in height, which means that the front isn't going to fit the back again. But by making this dart, it will fit. So I give myself a rough pin. And always make sure you do both sides. It's very easy to just pin one side and then think, oh, that'll be fine. And when you actually come to stitch it all up, you realise you've overpinned. And the garment is way too tight. I'm just pinning out some of this fullness in here. So the silhouette is starting to look more like I have a waist. Obviously, it's a big flap sticking 